Shut up and sit down. Hey, Reza from Frame MMA. Your English is okay? It's yeah, good. It's perfect. Yeah, all right, great. Well, uh, you, you can decide. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be your second fight at Fight Club Rush, but your pro mm -hmm. debut. Uh, yeah. Could you just talk to us a bit about how now this match has come about and uh, the opponents and the, the kind of backstory and all the opponents that have fallen out for you as well? Uh, well, uh, about all the opponents that have been falling out, it's definitely been a mental challenge. But uh, what they all have in common is that they have two arms, two legs and a head. So they're all human, all people. Uh, my second fight in Fight Club Rush, as you say, uh, how this fight come about, we've had this pandemic or, or plandemic or whatever you want to call it, uh, and that changed a little bit of the landscape of the Swedish MMA, and that also made me decide, you know, I'm 31 now, I'm going to be 32 soon, so I don't have all the time in the world, let's go, let's go, jump with both, both feet in. So, will we see a calm and collected uh, fighter when you walk into the cage, or will we see this explosion of all these emotions that have kind of led up to this? Do you mean like nervous emotions, or like just... Uh, like letting it out of the fight? Oh, that you will see. That you will see. But I don't think nerves... As I told before, I'm nervous before. Not when I get there. I've been nervous the entire last week and all of, the, all of that. And I think it was like yesterday, everything started to fall into place. And now it's showtime, now I just want to go. Now I don't want to wait anymore, so. Uh, when did you hear about your new opponent, uh, Theodore Bergren? One week ago, tops. A few days, a few days ago. Uh, I got the message that Mohammed got corona. Uh, my head started swirling. And I just, I just, uh, Slatko called me right away and I told him, you know what? I'm not in a mental state for this. You guys decide. You talk with Alpan. You guys do this. I know what I need to do. I see you Saturday, November 20th. And uh, there is a change in the weight class, but uh, going forward, what weight would you like to be fighting in? Lightweight. And uh, I guess we will see a more active fight uh, next year because you've kind of had a bit of a layoff with all of these uh, fights falling out. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, like as I said, uh, it's been a long, long camp now, so I'm looking forward to, to show what I have next weekend. After that, I'm going to take a short break again, just go home, see family and stuff like that. And after that, it's competition year 2022. So you've had around one week, you said, to study the tapes on your opponent and things like that. How do you see the fight going? Oh, I, I, like I said before, but in Swedish, I have a lot of different scenarios in my head. Uh, but it would be awesome to, to hit hard and finish with a submission. Knock down and then finish with a submission. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to your performance. Thank you. Thank you.